What's up guys, Rand Razor here with another tech video for you guys today and today we're going to check out the Brando Crystal Clear Screen Protector for the all new Touch Bar MacBook Pro. So of course without further ado, let's slice this open, slap it on the MacBook and give us my quick in depth review. So the screen protector comes in this very shiny cardboard packaging here. My only concern so far is that there's a bit of a bend in the packaging here. So hopefully that didn't damage the screen protector. So popping this open, looks like the first thing that we get is the screen protector here. And this also comes with a uh, screen protector for the touch bar as well, which is kind of cool. We also have some uh, a cleaning kit here to clean the screen. And that is uh, pretty much it. So here's the screen protector here. Here's one for the touch bar. Um, that bend I showed you guys in the packaging looks like it's pretty evident in the screen protector right here. Whether or not it will affect it or not, we're about to find out. But anyways, through the magic of YouTube, let's install this onto the MacBook. So here's a few clips of me installing the screen protector. Here, the first thing I do is I place the screen protector before doing anything on top of the screen of the MacBook, just to see how everything lines up. And once I find the perfect alignment, I use the included two pieces of tape to tape the screen protector on top of the MacBook. Next, I take the screen protector, flip it over so I can clean the actual screen. Now, because the tape is holding the screen protector in place, I don't have to worry about realigning it. And here, I'm just using a large piece of tape to remove the remaining dust and debris that settled on the screen. Now, I kind of missed a clip on this, but basically, once you clean the screen, you want to take the screen protector, remove the backing, and just lay it on top and allow it to adhere. And once you're done pushing the bubbles away, peel off the protective top and you're all ready to go. So here's the MacBook without a screen protector. And here's what the MacBook looks like with the screen protector on. So one of the first things you guys probably notice is that in short, the crystal clear screen protector pretty much turns the screen into a mirror. Basically it does this because Apple's anti-glare coating that was on the original display is now covered up and therefore it's rendered useless. That being said, unlike an anti-glare display with a crystal clear screen protector, you do get the full-fledged clarity of the retina display without any distortion whatsoever. Well, aside from the reflections. Out of this entire package, I do have to say my favorite part of the screen protector is that it also comes with a screen protector for the touch bar. And although it's really hard to tell in the video, yes, there is a screen protector already installed on here. And the great thing about the touch bar screen protector is that it has a matte finish on it, just like the matte finish on the touch bar itself. The cutout for the touch bar screen protector is pretty spot on. I would say 99% perfect. Here's a quick look at the other side here. And as you guys can see again, it's pretty spot on. I like how the icons here aren't affected. They seem to be as vibrant as they were without a screen protector on. And of course, the touch sensitivity isn't affected either. The only thing that is exposed on the touch bar here is the sapphire glass uh, touch ID button here, which obviously you can't cover up. But overall, the screen protector for the touch bar here seems to be well designed, well put together and crafted. And in the end, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Anyways, back to the screen protector here. First off, my initial impressions, I think I'm more impressed that I managed to get this on first try, which is something I didn't expect at all. In terms of an overview, there's really not much to really give you guys an overview of, but there's a cutout for the camera on the top here, and that is pretty much the only cutout. Uh, the cutout for around the edges here seem to be pretty spot on. There's a slight bit of gloss on the bottom here that is exposed, so I would say it's a 99% spot on uh, screen protector, which you do want a tiny bit of wiggle room when you're installing this, so that's no surprise to me. On the package here, it does state that there is an oleophobic coating on here, which helps reduce uh, fingerprints and uh, seems to be some sort of coating on here but nonetheless not as good as a matte finish like an anti glare screen protector but uh, should be more than enough since it's not a touch screen so you shouldn't have to worry about fingerprints too much it also states that there is no rainbow and i don't see much of a rainbow effect on the screen if at all so that's a nice plus high transparency which is no surprise since it is a crystal clear screen protector uh, ultra thin is also a feature but all uh, generally plastic screen protectors are fairly thin and that is uh, pretty much it for the features Overall guys, I'm pretty satisfied with the screen protector here. I really like how the uh, retina display is unaffected by the crystal clear film. And in comparison to the Moshi iVisor anti-glare screen protector that I reviewed uh, I think a couple months ago, um, in terms of which one is be better, uh, it just depends on your personal preference. Do you prefer a matte finish? Um, or do you want a screen protector that's easier to install then the motion one's definitely the way to go uh, this one here it's a little bit more difficult to install especially if you don't get it right the first time you do get a ton of reflections out of the screen protector because there's no anti-glare coating that's on the screen protector 
And although this does have an anti or oleophobic coating on here to resist fingerprints and whatnot, uh, a crystal clear glossy finish like this would be a little bit more difficult to maintain and clean versus a matte finish on the Moshi Eye Visor. So in the end, there are pros and cons to both. For me, the sole edge that a crystal clear screen protector would have over an anti-glare one, like the Moshi Eye Visor or another brand, um, is that a crystal clear screen protector here would not affect the retina display. In conclusion guys, what was you looking for a screen protector for your MacBook Pro that offers crystal clear protection coupled with a screen shield for your touch bar, then you definitely can't go wrong with the crystal clear screen protector from Brando. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions or comments about the screen protector, ask away in the comment section there down below, hit that like button as always helps me out, and I'll see you all in the next video.